so guys this is our sixth video tutorial and today in this video we are gonna see the second method to replace all the spaces in any string with percent 20 last time we had discussed about the replace method which are prod which is provided by the java api but right now we are gonna do it by your own so these are my method here and these are input string so our logic is to separate the string so, so if I can separate this string and I can store it at different location then what, I'm, what I, ha I just have to do is I just have to take each string one by one and I have to put percent twenty in between them so for this to split this to separate this string we have very good method the split method and it will do our job it very easily so what will happen if I use the separate method is after using the split after using the split method what will happen is the hello will be stored at index 0 this is our word So hello will be stored at index 0 then when it got a space it will create a new index and it, it, it will store how here then again it got a space the new index in the new index it will print after that new index here it will store this one then like this this one so 0 1 2 and 3 so this is our job will be very easy after this one from now what I just have to do is I have to took one st one string one by one from these words and uh, I just have to open percent 20 in between them so for this I'm gonna use this for loop to iterate over these words and uh, appending the percent 20 so I'm using here a string builder and while creating the string builder I am assigning the string which are there in the 0th position 0th index in the words and after this what I am doing is I am starting my for loop from the i is equal to 1 if I don't do this we'll see if I start the for loop from 0 and if I want to assign this 0th index string into the string builder then what will happen it will print percent twenty first, then it will print hello but this is not what we really want right so to prevent this I am just assigning the string which are there in the zeroth index to the sentence and then I'll go through my words so what will happen is it will create a sentence here this is my new string builder and the content of it is hello initially and after this entering the but when it enters into the loop when i is equal to 1 what it does it it will append percent 20 here now after this it will append the string which is there in the index 1 so it will took hello here then it will increment i equal i plus plus then again it will it will print uh, append the percent 20 here then it will took this one and the same thing will be repeated here so that's it at the end at each iteration it won't create a new object it won't create a new string builder that's why we are using the string builder if we use a string class here we can do the same thing use with using the string class but what will happen is after it each append the new string object will be created but the benefit of using the string builder is you can modify the same the same string the same string builder each time it won't create a new object so it won't allocate a different memory the same memory will be modified each time 
so that's it guys if you have any problem between the, uh, why you are using the string builder why we won't use the string string class then you can watch my video the string versus the string builder and uh, there if you might have the question like why will you why will you start here from one and why will you, why will assign this one so i will comment in the comment section i will paste some possibilities what are the different possibilities are there but i'll suggest you to try it by your own so it will the picture will be more more clear for you so thank you guys thank you for watching this video have a nice day